Hi guys, welcome to another Tale of Four Geeks painting tips video. Today I'm going to be covering painting a really dark gunmetal kind of colour um, that you might find on some of the darker armies, chaos armies, ogres, that sort of thing. Um, I've used this technique throughout my, um, my own ogre army, my kind of chaos dwarf, dark, evil themed ogres. So the colours that I'm going to be using are, are game colour metals, um, as I did uh, in some of the previous videos. There's no, again, like I said, there's no particular reason for this. I've heard really good things about the Games Workshop uh, metals, so um, there's no reason why you can't use those. The gunmetal uh, gun metal, metal, it's called, the game colour game colour one, is uh, the equivalent of lead belcher, from my understanding, and this is the equivalent of the old mithril silver, so I think it's Reekland silver, something like that, whatever the new equivalent of whatever the brightest silver is that Games Workshop make. Later on, I'm also going to be using Agrax Earthshade, Bile Tancreen, Drakenoff Nightshade, and there's really no alternative to these. The shades that by, by Games Workshop are just that good. So, first thing I'm going to be doing is base coating the entire um, the entire model with our, with our dark gunmetal. You don't want to apply it too thickly. If you need to apply two coats to get it smooth, then uh, do that and let it dry in between rather than uh, slapping paint on. It's much better. This, these, these are good, good metal paints, though, so they do tend to cover quite well right from the off. I'm going to let that dry. There we go. So that's our base coat down. So we're just going to move on to the washers. So first thing I'm going to do is wash it with Agrax Earth Shade. Now I'm actually going to use this one straight out of the pot this time because we want that dark, dirty look. So no need to be neat, slap it straight on. And make sure you let it dry off before we move on to the next stage. There we go, so it's all dry now. It's actually had a couple of coats of Agrax and I've let it dry in between steps. So um, yeah, a couple of coats of Agrax, you should have that really nice dark metal coming through already. I want to make it even darker. So um, I'm going to add some um, Drakenhof Nightshade Blue Wash. Again, I'm going to wash this straight out of the pot. And uh, you'll see the effect. Okay, so the Drakenhof Nightshade's dry now. And you can see how dark this metal's really going now. It looks, uh, it looks fantastic already. Um, loads of loads of nice shade in all the recesses. The final step with the washes is I'm actually going to add some Baltan green. Now using these different colours, the, the not only the Agrax which is more of a brown kind of wash but also the um, the blue from the Drakenhof nightshade and the green from the Baltan actually kind of builds up the effect um, of like an oily oily darkness, kind of almost like, uh, like you get on a motorbike exhaust where you can kind of see the sheen of different colours reflecting off the surface. Not only that, but different colours also work together to kind of build up a contrast in the model, and that's really what we're going for. So I'm going to do some some much more targeted washes with the green. Um, and again, you know, like a lot of the videos, you can you, you probably sim I'm I'm exaggerating it for the purposes of the video because sometimes the colours don't come across too well on the video. But you could uh, you could quite easily glaze this on a little bit more, uh, water it down a little bit more and build up the effect more subtly. I'm going straight out of the pot with this particular one just to show uh, just to show the effect more obviously. So uh, I'll let that dry off and then you can probably see the effect a bit better. There we go, so the it, it, all the washes are dry now and you can see if I show you it in different lights, sometimes in certain lights you can see the green showing through, in others you can see the blue otherwise it just looks black and dirty metal but the effect is really really nice once it's um, once all the different colours of washes are going on. I much prefer to layer on uh, multiple washes this way rather than just, just using like null oil which is basically just a black wash. Um, personally I think it looks far better to have all the different colours in there um, than, than it does if you just, just do just the straight black wash. Um, but that is just my opinion. So um, from that point then we can, um, we can go back to our original base coat which was the, the gunmetal silver and um, you can add some add some chips, add some highlights into certain areas. So I'm going to pick out some of these um, some of these rivets. I'm going to pick out a few of the panels, and then finally, using our lightest silver, 
Then I would pick out all of these tiny little rivets with the really bright silver. Um, some sharp edges. If you want to put some chips into some of the flat panels, you can do that with the uh, with the brightest colour. Scratches, that sort of thing. But yeah, that's pretty much finished. Hopefully, that's useful. If I uh, compare that to the um, to the gold shield that we did in the in a previous uh, previous video, you can sort of see the difference. One looks really, really dirty. The other one's quite clean and quite quite um, quite bright. So yeah, really nice contrasting colours you can use on your armies. Okay, thanks very much for watching. If you want to catch me on Twitter, it's John underscore Kurt underscore T4G. You can email us, telefourgeeks at gmail.com or you can catch us on our website, uh, telefourgeeks.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching.